How's it going everybody? I'm out here at one of my favorite creeks today. As you can tell, this is a tailwater section of the creek. It's the upper section of the creek. So it's gonna be smaller and there's not gonna be as many uh, species. You're looking here at uh, shiner and chub species, panfish species, <clears throat> and the occasional uh, largemouth and trout that's held over from uh, the kids fishing derbies that they hold here. <clears throat> There's no trout in here naturally. But uh, we're gonna see what we can catch today. We're gonna test out some new products. All right, so let's go over what we're gonna be using here. Uh, the rod is the Creek Life Hickory Twig. It is a uh, extreme ultralight. It's made out of, uh, it's made out of optic cable. So you're gonna be able to bend this thing almost doubling over itself and it's not gonna not gonna break um, really awesome little rod I'm, I'm excited that we're able to carry these uh, the reel is the uh, cast king centron ice reel and i've got it uh, spooled up with the creek life four pound micro pe braid uh, some of the thinnest braid that you can get on the market cast these ultralight uh, lures and baits really well as far as the uh, baits we're going to be using i'd like to focus on two things today uh, got the new creek life grandma's fishing flare this is a comes in a powder and it's a mix on site dough bait so whenever you get to where you're going to go fish open this up got a little scoop that comes with it scoop out a uh, little bit mix it to one to one ratio of water uh, from the creek and let it set let it set up for about three minutes and it's gonna get uh, it's gonna get doughy and it stays on the hook real well it's got a real fishy scent uh, we're gonna give that a test today see how that goes and then I'd also like to test out our uh, realistic catus uh, that we make this is a uh, one and a half inch Cadis replica and it's got real stones on it. We're gonna give it a go today and see how it see how it performs. The other thing we're gonna be testing out today is the Creek Life photo tank. This is a medium sized photo tank that is made for smaller panfish species and your micros. And it's got a little lid there. Put your fish down in there, get you a nice backdrop, take a picture of it, get a close-up of it. Helps you identify the fish uh, when you get back from your fishing trip. You can uh, go online. Uh, there's a website called fishmaps.org. You put your uh, area code in there and uh, it brings up every single species that's been discovered with pictures in that particular watershed. It's a really useful website. Yeah, all right, we're gonna go ahead and mix up our grandma's fishing flyer here. Got a little scoop. Let's scoop down in there. Get a little bit of it. I like to just mix it in the lid. And then I reach down here, get me a scoop of creek water. Mix it in there, one to one ratio. And you just turn the scoop over. Start mixing it. And it'll take a minute to get it all mixed up and stuff, but uh, once you get it kind of mixed up, you can uh, start uh, using your fingers to kind of mash it together and stuff. And I'll be back here in just a second to show you guys the result of that. All right, we got it good and mixed up here. Uh, just now finished getting this uh, packed up. So you're going to want to let it sit for about three minutes. Now it's going to dough up real good and just stay, uh, just stay on your hook. All right, y'all, this is it right here. Got to my spot. We're going to make our way through the woods here just a little bit. Oh. I see fish jumping already. That's a good sign. 
Oh yeah. This is my honey hole right here. I like casting right over there to that tree. I usually can just about 100% catch something. I see them flashing and everything in there. There's all kinds of little shiners uh, feeding on top of there. This is a beautiful little spot. And as you can see, we're a little bit further up into the tailwaters now. So, uh, mixed up our granny's fishing flare there. And uh, it should be set up by now. So we're going to go ahead and pull it out. Put some on the hook and hopefully get us something to first cast. Would be great. And we'll go ahead and get our photo tank out here and try not to get any fingerprints on it. Although I already have. We're going to be squatting right over here at this spot right here, so I'll put my photo tank right there. And I just stuck my granny's fishing flare in my tackle box here while it sets up. And you see it's become a pretty good little dough ball now, and I'll just pinch some off, put it on the hook. As far as the hook goes, they're set up there. I've got the, I've got our 164th ounce chub sinker on there, and I think this is a size 14 hook, 12 or 14 hook. I'm not 100% sure. Let's go ahead and put us some Granny's fishing flare on there. Let's go ahead and meet it just a little bit more here. The longer it sets, and the more you meet it. Uh, the better it stays on the hook. But you don't want to set it out too long because it'll get hard. We'll just pinch off just a little bit there. Like that. And ball it up again. Stick her on the hook. Let's see what happens. Hopefully I can cast all the way over there with the 64th ounce. Without slinging the dough bait off. Oh yeah, that's good. I think something already took off. Yeah, something already took off with the fellas. Look at that. Now right, let's try that again. He took off with it as soon as it hit the water. I didn't even know he had it. Swam right towards me. Got him. Let's see what we got here. Alright, this is a striped shiner, guys. A little strap shiner. Let's go ahead and get him in our uh, photo tank here. We'll just dip down in some water. Stick him right in there. Well, never mind. <laughs> No, nah, we're gonna try that again. <laughs> that was my fault. Get us another little ball of fishing flour here. They seem to like this stuff pretty good. I haven't let mine set up enough, I don't think. It's staying on the hook for the cast and everything, but they they can take it off the hook pretty easily. It's just like bread. Let's get us another cast out there. Yeah. Try that again. There 
we go. Got him. Yeah, here we go. Uh, so this is a creek chub. Our second species for the day. Let's see if we can get him in the tank. I'm going to put him in there before I put water in it. And then we'll dip him down. Perfect. Look at that. Nice little creek chub. This photo tank allows you to get a good picture of your fish and still keep them in water. Keep them safe and healthy. Don't have to handle them too much. Alright, we'll go ahead and get a release on this guy here. Look at that, that's so cool. And there he goes. Be free, little buddy. Thank you for letting me catch you. It's getting fall time. Which means these fish ain't going to be biting too much longer, especially up in these tailwaters like this. They tend to they tend to shut down pretty good. You can still catch some shiners and stuff like that. But it gets it gets tough. They can get this stuff off the hook pretty easy, but I tell you, they go right for it. Got him. All right, this is a strap shiner. Good, I can get my get my picture of the stripe shiner now in the in the photo tank. some water dip him in there there's the stripe shiner guys it really is a beautiful fish if you really sit back and look at it All right, let's go ahead and get the release on him. Just pour him right out of there. Be free, little buddy. Thank you. Oh, that might be all we're going to catch on the Granny's fishing flower. Uh, as far as species go, there might be some panfish and stuff go for it. Uh, if they're up here still. Got him. And that's no little stripe shiner. That's what's going to be prevalent uh, for the most part. Right here. Alright y'all, we're going to switch over to the, uh, the realistic catus. See if there's some panfish or some small bass that are still up in these tailwaters. I keep forgetting I got that camera right there. Oh, shoot. Hello. 
That's a good, good little hit right off the bat right there. Now this might be a little bit too big. Oh, that cast real good because that weight, extra weight of them stones on there. I'm wondering if I am going to be able to... Okay, yes, okay. Perfect. That's a nice big old creek chub. Look at that. On the realistic stone, or realistic catus. Very nice. This ain't gonna fit in our photo tank. There's that realistic catus, man. That thing right there is super realistic. Buddy, thank you so much for biting that. That was a nice chub right there. I don't care what you say. All right, since we lost our realistic cadis there, I went ahead and mixed you up another batch of Granny's fishing flour. Let's see if we can keep catching them on that. There's some fish jumping out there, man. Y'all see what? I don't know if this is set up long enough or not. This stuff might be good. I put a float on this time too, you see it there. That's our little micro float, the floater. Help us see these smaller strikes. There he is. Boy, they love grandma's fishing flare. <laughs> nope, be free, buddy. I mixed up about double what I did last time. See if we can't get another one real quick like that. Oh my, they're going after my float, y'all. Oh, I missed him. Got the hawks after me over here. There he is. Look at that beautiful bird, that's amazing. He's gonna come over here and snatch up one of my fishes. All right, let's try her again here. Oh, I missed him. I missed him that time too. Dang it. Just about guarantee you're gonna have to put another another little bit of flare on there every time you cast because uh, they bite it. <laughs> it's almost like fishing with night crawlers. Trying to give them time. <sighs> Boy, I tell you what. Here, let me just try casting it out there with the scent of the of the stuff on there. Oh shoot! Look at that. 
just the scent of the granny's fishing flower on there got him got him to go for it those striped shiners thank you buddy that's pretty cool That's pretty cool, man. I'll tell you that that fishing flyer has got a strong scent. Oh, I had him, dang it. Let's see if he'll do it again. I got him. Oh. He came off. Move my flute down here a little bit. Creek Life Grandma's fishing flare. Let's see what we can get. Oh, I missed him, dang it. They just got, they're like piranhas on that stuff. They don't take them long at all. Grab it and go. Here we go again. Grandma's Fishing Flyer by Creek Cloth Lure Company. All natural mix on the site dough bait. See if we can get one. There he is. Fish on. little striped shiner let's put him in the the creek life photo box take a real good look at him here creek life photo box
Whole stripe shiner. Thank you, buddy. I'm just gonna keep going here. Uh, I don't have much flour left. Uh, I've got a bunch left, but not what I mixed up. Wasn't planning on fishing long. I was just gonna come up here and get some get some content of the photo box and and the fishing flare. But boy, they're biting them. I don't want to leave. <laughs> Got him. Oh, no, I don't. He came off. Got him at a time. It's just infested with sharp shiners, yeah. Which that's, like I said in the intro, it's mainly what's up here. It's, it's tail water stuff uh, with no trout. So it's going to be a lot of creek chubs and striped shiners. I'd like to catch me a little panfish to put in the photo tank here and test that out. But yeah, if I don't catch one, I don't catch one. Maybe we'll put a, a soft plastic on and see if there's one over there. I would like to see what a bluegill looks like in there. We'll finish out our fishing flower here and go to a soft plastic, I guess. Boy, they hit it as soon as it hits water, dude. Unreal. I missed every single one of them, though. Get back out there while the scent's still on it. Nope. Last piece here. We'll switch over to a soft plastic. Got him. Oh, he came off, dang it. <laughs> uh, all right. Let's switch to the soft plastic here, see what we got. Gonna need something smaller, like the crawdad, maggots maybe. 
Mm. I even got the little beetle here I could switch to. Little beetle. That's our half inch toe biter. I'm going for the smaller profiles because there's smaller fish up here. Let's see what they do with the toe biter. Oh, I missed him. There he is. Got him on the toe biter. I have to get in one of them war paint shiners that's up in here. Be free, buddy. Thank you. Let's cast over this way. Uh, See if there's some other stuff over here. Okay, got a bite. I think I'm going to call it right here, guys. Go back and get this photo box on the website so you all can enjoy it and show you off your fish. Uh, boy, I tell you, winter's coming and I ain't going to be able to do as much fishing as I like. But look at this. Just, <laughs> there's nothing else like it. How can you... Uh, how can you not like it? Just getting out here in these creeks like this. Complete peace and solitude. And if you're a believer, there ain't no better place to really connect and get that personal relationship with God right here than His very own creation. Well, guys, I appreciate you watching. Thank you so much. I hope to do many more of these videos uh, as I'm leaving my day job at the end of the year and next year. I hope to do a lot more YouTube videos and get out here and fish a lot more and share what I love with everybody. Uh, if you guys don't care, please like and subscribe. It helps out a lot. Uh, when you like the video, it helps it get out there to more people. And of course, if subscribing is you know the ultimate the open, ultimate gift that I that you could give me, and, and the community, uh, it's free. 
you don't pay for a subscription, just click it and you support the channel. Hope you guys have a good